How can you make 500 plus trading penny stocks in one single day? Now, I've given you guys, the guys who are new or the guys who have been watching me for a while, I've given you a strategy, a strategy that has been worked, working since the 80s and it will never change. I tell you the exact stocks to watch out for. On a monthly basis, for those of you guys who are new, I usually give stocks that will spike in value on the exact dates that I give on this channel. So I usually put stocks in a little format and I tell you guys, watch out for these stocks on those exact dates and I tell you what to look for and why they will spike in value. Well, we can predict it every single time, all right? So I kind of teach you that on this YouTube channel. So your job now is simple after this. Go ahead and practice for the guys who are new. So in this video that I gave you and I told you on that exact date, these stocks will spike in value. One of them done just that. I didn't have a look at the rest of them because someone says it. This stock got FDA approved. Now, for those of you, FDA approval means, you know, getting a product or a drug on the market. Like, for example, we only trade biotech penny stocks. That means stocks that we can predict the exact dates they will spike in value. Biotech penny stocks, they have a catalyst, something that will influence the stock to shoot up in value. That catalyst, matter of fact, let's go to the whiteboard and let me explain it even further. Let's have a look. Okay, guys, so here's a stock that I gave you called ACRX. I told you on that exact date it will spike in value. Now, you can see it spiked by 15%, almost 16% on Friday, all right? Now, after hours, you can see that it's pulling back, and I'll explain why the pullback happens. Why did it spike, first of all? When I told you on that day it will spike. Well, because I told you on that day they will release the results of that drug because these stocks have to test new drugs on products and they tell us the exact date they will release the results. So if the, if the drug they're testing comes out FDA proof, that means they're about to have a product, that means a pill, a cure for a disease, for a, whatever, right? So ACRX came out and got their drug FDA approved and spike the value. I told you the exact date it will happen. Sometimes it will slump in value, right? Even with, you know, good news. And that's because we have mixed reports or mixed results, just like I explained to you. So you see the pullback that came quicker, you know, after hours, 5%. Well, after every spike, listen to me, after every spike there has to be a pullback, that means you can look at the spike and say to yourself, I'm gonna short the pullback instead of you buying. Cause you can know, you know, you know after, a spike comes a pullback. It's guaranteed. So let's go on the whiteboard and let's have a look at what I mean. My writing isn't great, guys, so, you know, excuse the writing. Teachers hated me for this. So let me just zoom in on the whiteboard. So, here's what's happening. We got a penny stock. Okay. We have a penny stock. And what will influence, let's see ACRX, right? Let's take ACRX for example. What influences ACRX to go up on value? Something called a catalyst. What is a catalyst? A catalyst is something that will influence the stock to either shoot up on value or downwards on value. In this case, it's the result. Because these stocks have to come out with drugs. By the way, this is a biotech stock. So a biotech stock has to develop a pill. Let me just draw a little pill here, all right? This is a pill, for example, biotech, they're developing pills like Panadol or something, syringes. So they have to develop a pill. And this pill cannot go on the market, i.e. in pharmacies, without it being tested. Okay? So they have to come out and, you know, test it to see if it will work or cure the headaches or whatever. So they go into trials. Alright? Here, here, here's them going into something called trial. So they're going for trials to see if it will work. After the trial comes FDA approval, right? They have to release results. This company has to release the result of that trial. FDA has to also release the result. Now, here is what will spike the stock either upwards or downwards. The result of the trial, the result of the FDA, i.e. if the trial comes out positive or negative. FDA approved or not, right? Or not. Okay? FDA approved or not. So, on both occasions, if it comes out positive, the stock will spike in value. If it comes out negative, the stock will slump in value. Again, if the results comes out FDA approved, it will spike in value. If not, it will go down in value. So, let's say here is the stock, right? 
This is the stock. And then on their website, they released, we have FDA approved this pill. What do you think is going to happen to the stock? Investors are going to jump into this market and to the stock and they're going to end up buying that stock. They're going to buy it. So you're going to have a spike like this. Because obviously when there's volume, there's a spike. Otherwise, if it comes out negative, then it will come down like this, right? It will go down in value. So on both occasions, you make money, either by buying here or by shorting here, okay? So that's the way you make money with penny stocks. I think there's no other way to explain this. This is like the best thing that I've done so far on this YouTube channel is get the whiteboard and kind of explain it to you. So the pullback, what is the pullback? Matter of fact, we'll do that in another video regarding the pullback. So, now you know guys, a stock, a penny stock, a biotech penny stock specifically, alright, biotech, and that's the formula, right, for the spikes and the, you know, slumps. So now, why do we only trade biotech? How can we predict the exact date these biotech stocks will go down in value or go up in value? Well, because they tell us on that exact date, the FDA, the FDA will release the results of that drug or the company tells us we will update investors with the result of that pill on that specific date. And that's what I give you guys. That's how I get my information. You know, whether it's on my Patreon or even on YouTube, but I teach you how you can do the same thing. That's what I told you in many of my videos. So go have a look. But eventually, once you understand the formula, your job is now to go ahead and practice. Practice and practice and practice. Now, that is the strategy for penny stocks. Now, let me go with the earning report. That's for stocks, high cap stocks. Like I said, this is going to be the ultimate video for trading. Um, let me focus this. So, high cap stock, let's say Nike, Nike has to release earning reports, right? That means quarterly earning reports to see basically how profitable they have, have been in the past three months. And they have to update the world, the investors. That's also going to be released on their website. So obviously we need a catalyst. What is a catalyst for Nike? Earning report. Okay, my friends, earning reports. Now, the earning report is the catalyst. That means it will influence investors to either buy the stock or short it. So, the earning report is here. We're, we're going to have to look at Nike on the day they release the earning report. Again, we know the exact date they will release the earning report. The earning report will influence the, 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 the stock to go up or, or down on value. So, earning report shows financials. Obviously, the only reason I'm going to invest in a company is because of what? Growth, all right? Growth, financial growth. If this earning report does not show financial growth, i.e., earning per share, revenue, all right? Um, all of these things, sales. If this earning report doesn't show growth, um, then I'm gonna have to short this stock. Uh, I bet that the stock is gonna go down in value because investors are gonna sell their positions, their stocks. Because they're not going to invest in a company that is performing bad financially. They're going to invest in a company that is performing well financially. So, now that we shorted that stock, we buy it back and make the profit. If this comes out positive, i.e. they meet analyst expectations, they beat revenue, everything, that stock spikes in value, just like this, right? But again, after every spike, there has to be a pullback, right? So... That is the strategy for high cap stocks. So most of you would have watched and followed me on this channel because of stocks and penny stocks. So that's it in a nutshell. So hopefully you guys now you understand that we're not here to mess around, right? I've given you everything for free. So don't come out one day saying Zed, you sell us courses. No, no, no. I've gave you a foundation that you've never been given before. But if you're here getting information, yet you come out with your negative shit on my channel, right? Um, it's really simple. You just have to go ahead and practice. And again, don't ever come back and say, Zed, you just sell us courses without giving us value. No, 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 no. No way, my friends. This is the foundation that you've been given. 
you don't need my course but these whiteboard lessons will be in my course also even further so see you again for another hopefully you got value out of this continuous learning continuous practice is the only way that will take you to the next level and trading isn't for everyone i'm gonna sit here and say it because if you're afraid of losing money just like i was when i started then it's not gonna be for you because you're already you're already scared you're, you're gonna have to trade with money you don't need oh by the way i didn't do this before where's the 500 dollars that you talked about well in acrx right let's go back to this in ACRX, it was trading at four dollars, right? Four dollars. That's how much it was trading at before the FDA approval. Then the FDA approval came in, it spiked to five dollars. So you have a one dollar spike plus one dollar, right? That's how much the spike was. This is one dollar here. So how much would you have? You know needed to make five hundred dollars in one day well you would have needed so one dollar spike so I want to make five hundred dollars so I'm gonna have to buy a four dollars I'm gonna have to buy what five hundred shares um, to make five hundred because five hundred by one dollar equals five hundred dollars profit correct so I'm gonna need to buy five hundred shares of ACRX this stock called ACRX at four dollars and that's gonna cost us um, two grand okay that's gonna cost us two grand of trading money to make five hundred dollars and slowly you grow your account slowly but surely anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this I'll see you again